Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 15B in the Lewis series, where we're going to be continuing with scoreboards, and this time I'm going to add, uh, teach you how to add player lines to the scoreboards. Now this is a little lengthy process, but it's uh, not so bad. So let's start by making another text called scoreboard player, and this is going to be with the names of the player. So actually I can just copy and paste from here. We'll have something very similar, though it doesn't have to be, and put it to size 22 instead. So we're going to copy very similar format to the scoreboard and we're going to call this table player line and we're going to start as usual with init which is going to have a function with argument cell and here we're going to start with the player's avatar button which is something you'd see typically in a scoreboard so this is how you do it and this will go to their profile so we're going to add this to the main panel or the parent panel and this is going to be a button and we're going to have self avatar <laughs> avatar button and a couple of these and we're going to dock it to the left now if you recall or have any recollection of the player line it's just one giant long bar um, a horizontal bar and if we dock something to the left it's going to force it all the way to the left of that horizontal bar okay and we're going to add some dock margins so it's not so on top of the border of the bar so they'll add some space to it I'm going to set the size of the avatar to 32 by 32 pixels and then we'll set the content alignment, if you recall from the last tutorial. Went over this, and we're going to set it to the center, which is a value of numpad 5. And also we're going to set up a do click, which is a function. Now to reference the player here, we use self player. So this is going to be the player that is uh, associated with this specific player line. So if they click it, it'll show their profile. All right. So next thing is to actually add the avatar. So we're going to put an image over this button that we just created by doing this. And we have a VGUI element called avatar image, which is in the uh, VGUI elements library which is on the wiki so avatar button so we're parenting it to the button so we're pretty much saying that we're going to make an avatar image for the button and to do that we'll say self avatar and we'll set size to same thing as the button 32 by 32 and also we are going to set the mouse input enabled so and we're going to be setting this to false All right so we're going to be disabling the mouse for this and when they it, their avatar picture is going to be over this button when they click the button the profile is going to show up All right so the next thing that we want to do on the most leftmost side of this bar is add the name. So to do that, we'll say self name is equal to self, and we're going to be adding a D label. Gotta put the period here and get a couple of those, and we're gonna dock it, but this time instead of putting left, we're gonna put fill. And that's going to provide a majority of space for the name on the player line. And we're going to be using the custom text that we made up above scoreboard player. And let's set the text color to something kind of light. So say 100, 100, 100. 
should be all right. We'll just keep the default alpha and dock margin. This is optional in case you want to add spacing. You can change these values here. Okay, so we have the name. Next, I'm going to create or start docking things on the right hand side. So let's start adding things like the mute button, which is very typical. So we're going to make a mute panel and it's going to be parented to the parent panel, which is the player line itself. And this mute panel will have a size of 36 and it's going to get the entirety of the uh, height of the parent panel. So we have got to put that right here and put tall here. All right. So we got that and now we just need to dock it. So we'll say mute panel and we'll dock it to the right. And then we're going to function self mute panel and paint with arguments width and height. And we're going to be using the draw libraries rounded box. So it's zero curve, initial position, zero, zero, ending position, width and height, color, we'll put 50, 50, 50, and 150. So it'll be a kind of dark, dark color, which is easy to see. So now we just need to set up the mute itself. So to do so, we'll say mute equals self mute panel. So we're parenting it here to the mute panel. And this way it will be nice and centered and everything. So we'll say B image button. So when we click that stuff is going to happen. So mute set size to 3232. Keep it consistent with the avatar so it looks nice. And we're going to fill the mute panel up here right with a mute button. And lastly is just to align it. And we're going to use five for the center. So uh, like I said, I'm not really going over this much, but if you want to align it to the top, you put eight left is four, right is six, bottom is two. So we're using five. It's in accordance to the setup of the numpad. Okay, so next we can add something like the ping of the player. That's very typical. So to do that, we'll add this to the parent. And then we're going to be getting a bunch of these. And this is kind of like the tedious work of setting up these these scoreboards, but once you get it all done, it's uh, worth the results. So we're going to dock it to the right. Let's uh, set some dock margins. Um, I find that two use works best for this circumstance. Now we're going to set the width here. So we'll have just enough to cover a three digit ping. So it could be something in the hundreds like that. So set the width about 50, that works. We're also going to use the custom font. So we'll use scoreboard player and set text color. We're also going to use the same color that we used above to match it, which is 100, 100, 100 with the default alpha. And next we're going to set the content alignment which will be a five. All right, so that's the ping. And next we're going to be adding a position for your score, because that is one of the most important parts of the scoreboard, I hope so, at least. I, mean, I don't really go on the scoreboard to say how nice it looks personally, but having a nice looking scoreboard doesn't help either. So we're going to set up about what about three of these and we're going to set the size of this panel so we're going to be using a very similar technique that we did with mute we're going to set up a panel 
and then we're going to put the score inside of it to make sure it looks nice. And this is also going to give a nice uh, stripe effect on the scoreboard, which you'll see in game. So get tall, and then we're going to dock it to the right. Dock margin. I'm going to say zero zero four zero. And right here, there's instead going to be a function. It says self score panel paint wh for width and height. And we're going to draw a rounded box, which has zero, zero, zero for the initial positions and the roundness. And then you have width and height. And again, color 100, 100, 100. This time, let's change it up and put, it will put a 150 alpha right there, actually. And end it. Now for the score itself. So we're going to be defining a bunch of this stuff in one of the next arguments or one of the next um, inputs for the table here. So we'll say D label. score and we're going to dock this one so this is going to fill that score panel that we just made and now I'm setting the font so we'll say scoreboard default and set text color which we'll be using that color not color color 100, 100, 100, default alpha. And we're going to set the alignment here as well. So set content alignment. And we'll set it with a 5. So we're pretty much centering everything. Now after the score, lastly, we're going to have some stuff for the self. So we're going to dock self to the top. So this is going to put the player bar at the top. Uh, by default, so we're going to also set a height of about 32, actually, you know what, make it about 38. And we're going to set these dock margin. So this is going to give us some spacing right here. So we'll put like 10, 0, 10, 2. So the left and right will have a little gap between the the sidings of the uh, scoreboard and the actual player lines and between each player line there will be a slight gap as well. Alright so that is the big part of this right here. Next we need setup which is going to be referenced right here. So we're going to have function, self, then an argument which is going to be for player now here we're going to reference the player itself. We'll say that self.player is equal to player. So that's how you would establish a player with this method. Avatar set player. So this is going to set up the player's avatar here. And we're going to set up a think command for the self. All right, so that's everything for setup.